Welcome to my best VR settings guide for the Pimax Crystal. Now hopefully fingers crossed before too long, many of you will be receiving your crystals. So I thought now is a pretty good time to go through what I believe works for me. I'm no expert, but I have stumbled across a few settings that even other sort of YouTube channels like MRTV and Tatiana have used. So really, the first thing I want to mention is that for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I would recommend using the Pimax XR Runtime. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can find it. And really, all you need to do is once you've installed it, as you can see on the screen, just click on Pimax XR. That will enable your crystal to run in open XR mode, which will give you a lot better performance and it will cut out the middleman of Steam VR. So that's the first thing you need to do. Don't worry about open composite. You don't need that. All you need is the Pimax XR switcher. For the next thing, you need to make sure that you've got the OpenXR toolkit. Now, I'm sure many of you on the channel know what that is, but in case you don't, it's a separate utility that enables you to fine tune your VR experience. It has all manner of features, including its own um, scaling options. If you can override the resolution, you can change the post-processing effects, motion reprojection, the whole nine yards. And there is Canterbury Cathedral right below us there, beautiful. So this is the crucial thing, okay? And it's something that I worked out very quickly with the Pimax Crystal. I believe that the Crystal is putting out a crazy high resolution. So that means, in fact, you'll see it on my first impressions video, that when you first look at the Crystal, you're gonna be like, your eyes are gonna be popping out your head when it comes to the clarity because it's off the scale. It feels like retina clarity, it's that crazy. But I think it's because it's reporting the, the resolution far too high in both SteamVR and OpenXR. Now it may be correct due to the wider field of view that you have at 35 pixels per degree. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure Pimax knows either, to be honest. But regardless of that, it's really important to make sure that once you're in VR for the very first time with a crystal, and I want you to make sure you're on the menu when you do this, otherwise your frame rate is going to really suffer. Go to your OpenXR toolkit, which means you press Control and F2, and then scroll down to the System tab, and in the override resolution, I want you to basically downscale it to around 3,500 by 4,142. That's about 80%, in fact about 78% of the supposed native resolution of the headset. Here's the thing right guys, when you've done that, the clarity hardly drops off at all it's still like incredibly sharp once you've done that i want you to head to the main tab which is the performance tab okay i'll show you this as well on the screen and then go down to turbo mode experimental in brackets and turn that on once you've done that restart your vr session in msfs that means the changes will take effect I mean, if you want to, <laughs> you could try it first completely natively and you'll notice with a 4090, you'll probably only get about 30 frames per second. And then once you've made those changes, it will jump up to at least about 50 frames per second, maybe even 60 frames per second, yet the clarity is still excellent. That is something, that is the most crucial step for my settings guide, okay? So... The next thing you need to make sure is depending upon what GPU you have, I would recommend for high-end users, say 4080, 4090 owners, to stick with TAA mode because you're really gonna get the full effect of that incredible panel and still get 
around 50 to 60 frames per second depending on where you are in the you know sim world for instance now you could even use DLSS okay in quality mode to be fair <laughs> With the crystal, because it looks so good, even with DLSS enabled, it still looks absolutely beautiful. And then you're gonna get about 70 frames per second. Pretty amazing. But to be honest, I would recommend where possible to use TAA mode instead. Now, as you can see on the screen now, that is my settings for my 13900K 4090 Stormforce computer. There's a couple of heavy hitters here. First one being LOD. The level of detail slider really kills performance in MSFS. So I would highly recommend that you take that down below 150. I mean, really ideally 120, 130. The only thing is with the crystal, with the aspheric lenses, you will notice that LOD drop off because you can see so much further out into the distance. Another heavy hitter is clouds. I would highly recommend that you stick them on high because the ultra setting, even though the clouds do look much nicer, you're going to get about a 5%, sorry, 5 frames per second rather, hit on performance, which is just not worth it because the clouds still look really good, even on high. A few other things to mention, I would definitely take off Raymarch Reflections. And if you know you've got some performance spare, maybe use ambient occlusion because that really does play in very well to the QLED panel, giving you a fantastic atmosphere. But if you know frames are a bit tight, <laughs> take ambient occlusion off as well. I mean, there is more heavy hitters, but they're the main ones for me. And feel free to copy my settings and use them as a guide, sort of a benchmark for your own sort of you know tweaking. I'm now going to show you the settings that I would run with a 3080 GPU. I mean, keep in mind, this is the Pimax Crystal. It really needs the best GPU power you can throw at it. But with a 3080, I would recommend DLSS and the settings that you can see there. Notice they are quite low, but don't worry about that because once you get into VR, you're just going to absolutely love the experience, guys. You really are. Now, if you are desperate to use TAA mode, I would back that off to 80%, okay? And then play around with the OpenXR override tool to get a sweet spot for your system. Now, you know, it might surprise you when I say this, but the Pimax Crystal is pretty good in terms of setup. It's not that difficult. I think the PyTool Clients, I think it's called, is actually quite a nice piece of software now. Another thing to mention is smart smoothing. At the time of this recording, it's not really working very well, but once it is working, I will um, post a comment and pin it at the top of this video to show you what settings I'm running with that as well. I wouldn't recommend messing around with the um, sort of super sampling in the Pi tool itself because it doesn't really work at the moment. Again, that's something that might change, and if it does, I will stick a note in the description below or in the comments below. Future Steve here. Just to let you know that I forgot to mention I'm using DirectX 11 with GPU scheduling turned on. That is so important, guys. At the moment, stay well clear of DirectX 12. It doesn't work very well in VR at all. Also, just to say, when using a DLSS, you could also try the cast setting with the OpenXR toolkit with 50% sharpening. That actually does look very, very nice. And many of my Discord members, including that of Uva, who is an absolute legend and knows everything there is to know about VR, recommends this setting. So it might be worth trying that if you're struggling with performance. Anyway, back to the video. And that is it, folks. Believe it or not, that is what I'm doing with my Pimax Crystal. And at the moment, in TAA mode right now, I'm getting 53 frames per second. It's shot up now to nearly 60 and then back yeah about 55 frames per second at the moment in the flying iron spitfire now like anything on youtube i'm sure i've missed something or you have a question about the pyrax crystal that i haven't answered in this video so please do give me feedback and as things change and progress i will certainly update this guide but for now 
that is it for me thank you so much for watching as always i truly appreciate it please feel free to subscribe and all that kind of stuff <laughs> i'll see you again very soon i'm going to fly the flying iron spitfire for the rest of the evening take care and bye for now